are off in the Dixie and the Bourbon. Hurts so good, and gear jockey from the inside, they come forward in the opening strides, field pass, and Peace Achieved will join them. There goes Peace Achieved outside of field pass, both stack up outside of gear jockey, who now is third as they head for the first turn. Art Collector comes away in fourth position, forwardly placed here, five lengths off the early lead, though stays outward from the rail because Nettleton is there down toward the inside. Nettleton moves up in fourth, Art Collector drops back one spot in fifth. Hurts so good is in sixth. And then fighting CB seventh, Kid Mercury is eighth. The third secret is ninth between horses. Deviant, tenth toward the rail. Ate on Dion, eleventh up on the outside. Doc Boy is in twelfth position. Prince of Thieves is traveling along next to last. And Vitalogy, last of the 14, 47.6. The time for the opening half mile. Back up front, Peace achieved ahead in front. Field pass fights back down to the inside. That's the battle for the lead. A gap of two and a half more lengths then to Gear Jockey, who's a lane off the rail in third. Nettleton fourth toward the inside. Art Collector is in fifth. The third secret is sixth. Kid Mercury a wide seventh around the far turn. Back up front, field pass, the leader by a length. Gear Jockey is going to need room toward the inside. Peace Achieved is still there toward the outside, contesting the lead. Here's Gear Jockey, finds an open lane down next to the rail and moves up to take the lead, but Peace Achieved is still there on the outside. These two going at it past the eighth pole. A late run, Vitalogy out on the grandstand side. Gear Jockey, Peace Achieved, Dettleton to the rail. Vitalogy on the outside from fourth to third, but Peace Achieved has the lead. Vitalogy running on, Gear Jockey is there at the line. Peace achieved. Hangs on by a diminishing neck for Miguel Mena in the Dixie Anna Bourbon. And has just seen this horse win a graded stakes here at Keeneland. How does that feel? Oh, it feels fantastic. It feels fabulous, you know. I mean, it's just, it's great to win at home, but it's great to win anywhere. So, yeah, I am ex obviously very excited, extremely excited. And your partnership with Mark Cassie, I know that means an awful lot to you. Just tell me why. Well, Mark and, and, and a lot of people in this, this business are, they're just good people. And, and you want to win with good people. And Mark and, and David and the rest of this whole team are, are real good people. But I'm, I'm blessed to have a lot of good people around me. Well, congratulations. You've got a good horse as well, Joe. I think he's a good horse. I really do think he's a good horse. Tell Karen Dunn hi, too. We just did. Yeah. We just did, Donna. <laughs> well, Mark, Joe thinks you're a good guy, and he thinks he's a good horse. What do you think about all that? I think Joe's a great guy, and, and you know what? Oh, here he is. Uh, you know what? This is a pretty horse, and uh, David Carroll has been a big part of the success. Your assistant sure. trainer. David, yeah. And um, just what a nice horse. Since we put blinkers on him, uh, I had a I had a lot of faith in him. I thought he would run good. I was a little worried late. The, the wire was coming quickly, but uh, uh, Brendan's been a little tough to beat lately. His third win in a row, and this is your fourth win in the Bourbon Stakes. You've been a little tough to beat lately as well. Do you go under the Breeders' Cup from here? Uh, I think as long as he's healthy, I, I think he's have a tough time keeping Joe away. But uh, yeah, we'll go there. You'll have a tough time keeping Joe on the ground. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so much.